going on guys it's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and we are officially back in F1 season I am recording this in between qualifying and the race at the Australian Grand Prix and I thought you might want to know about two options for bringing 2019 spec F1 cars into Assetto Corsa let's get into it So we'll start off guys with the free option. This one comes to us courtesy of F1 Mania 2019 and it's almost like a fantasy car based around the 2019 specifications for Formula One and what I mean by that is that even though we have cars and drivers from the 2019 season um, we have options like traction control, ABS, we can disable the halo, we can adjust gear ratio to, to some extent and so it gives you a bit of freedom there and I think that's kind of cool so what I did was I turned off all the uh, electronic assists and took it out and had a really good time it's an excellent driving car I think uh, and, it, and it sounds great it looks great I don't think there's a lot of downsides if I'm being honest to this for free it looks really fantastic uh, if you're sort of an F1 purist you might be offended by the fact that they put some of those electronic assists in there and we don't have also presets like you know hot lap top speed things like that for the uh, MG UK delivery uh, we just have a percentage so uh, again if you're a purist you might not enjoy everything about this car but I took it out and drove it and had a really good time so I think especially considering that it's free I think you should definitely get this one and now let's take a look at your second option so the second option guys comes to us thanks to ACFL some of you may recognize the name ACFL, by the way, not to be confused with ACF1, which was the free option. ACFL is a pack of cars, of F1 cars, that comes to us annually updated. Um, I bought the 2018, I bought the 2017, both are very, very good. They tend to be overshadowed when uh, Race Sim Studio drops their, you know, now famous formula hybrid of the current year, but the ACFL still makes excellent, excellent mods. And I had a really good time with this one as well. Um, all the cars, all the drivers are represented in this pack. It'll cost you seven euro or about seven dollars to add this to Assetto Corsa. And I had a blast with it. The tuning options are immense and and uh, I did a little tune and I wanted to see if I could get it around, get the uh, car around Spa faster than Sebastian Vettel's Q1 time in uh, 2018. So if you're wondering in summary guys which one you should get, I think uh, if you can afford it, if you don't mind throwing down a few bucks, I think the ACFL is a fantastic option. ACF1 is a very, very good option as well. If you have the money, you can add both of course, but um, yeah, you won't be missing much by going with the free option of ACF1. I think it's a very well done mod, but uh, credit where credit is due, I really, really am having a great time with the ACFL. And we'll see what happens with the Formula Hybrid 2019, which we should be getting, I would say, in the next week or so. Alright guys, so here's the onboard from my spa lap. Enjoy, and thank you for watching.